Hello everyone, welcome to the Cloud Network. In this tutorial, I will show you uh, how to install and configure uh, ISS, that is Internet Information Service, that is in Windows Server 2008 R2. You can also do this uh, IS, ISS installation in uh, Windows Server 2003 and also Windows Server 2012. The same procedure, the same step you need to follow that I am going to show you. So these are the five, four steps that I am going to configure now. First of all, I am going to configure ISS 7.0 configuration. Then how to hosting website, virtual directories, then backup and restaurants and last one is the FTP server configuration. So first of all, I am going to install uh, the uh, ISS to install ISS. Uh, you need to click on start administrators. You need to find server manager. Upon clicking on server manager, you need to scroll up and you can also click add here to uh, for roads you can click here also or you can click here add roads by clicking on left panel so here you can see ISS web services and to click uh, check this box and you need to click on next click on next so here you can see complete so you can check this configuration click HTTP redirection if it is unchecked means you need to check this box remember if it is unchecked you need to check the box and you want something more it is which one you want or not basic authentication configuration security you can check ip address domain restriction also you can check ftp some more configuration so click on next and see last summary click to install now so here we have been installed success click to close this one and when to start this first creating a uh, first website to create a website and I'm going to create a first website so click on start we need to click on uh, administrative tools you need to find ISS way this ISS you need to find scroll up you need to scroll up so here you can see ISS manager click on this ISS server manager after that uh, in the left panel here you can see in the left panel we need to expand the server name okay domain name that is and then we need to click right click on this one site you can see the site name is there we need to right click and then we need to add a website upon clicking on the add website we need to give a site name like you can give yahoo or MSN for creating web page or you can give google any name you can give whatever you want to give okay and i am giving my site name that is cloud network okay this is one page i have given in the path if you have web pages created just select the path and sample html pages you can be created with your save select the path and click ok after selecting the path this is the type which we want http or https this is the ip address we want to assign whether you want to assign for this system only that is in server or if you want to assign to everyone you can assign this all to one or if you want to assign only to single system means you need to scroll down and need to give the ip address here is the port number and this is the host name that is given in the example or you can give you can check this box this is should be check box and after that we do so when I'm going to clicking uh site dot cloud network dot okay after that I'm going to select the IP address okay and then so here you can see I've created one folder with the name of data in that in the letter drive and I'm going to add here for testing purpose see here can see this has been I can click OK and this has been created on the main page. Okay, and now will be this success web a website has been added successfully. So now we adding a default document for this website. Now we need to add is uh, we need to explore. Uh, I'm going to add it some pages we have been added. So I am going to for the de adding default document to the website to add it expand this one. So we have created one website with this name and you can 
says this is default directory manager we need to just click on and we need to open this feature after opening the feature you can see this is the default documents has been added so like i am adding uh, mentioning this file name action chart so you can see move up is there uh, you can add it upon the clicking this site so we need to click uh, on html default click add type uh, www not www cloud network the same name type you need to type not html and then click ok so it has been created now i am going to create an enable directory browsing for this website so to create this one this is my domain name uh, website name which i have created so with this one we need to so select uh, enable uh, directory browsing uh, we need to enable so we need to click here and then we need to click here directory browsing and we'll click on here double click uh, right click then we need to enable this one uh, which is fine we need to enable so already we have been enabled we go and to open the feature the time that has been set okay back just click on restart again now uh, i'm doing dns configuration for the website to configure for the dns website click on starts uh, click on start programs click on dns so you need to click on this uh, domain forward domain name like right click go to new zone then we need to click ok then we need to select a uh, forward lookup zone and check this one active directory and then click on next we need to add a domain name like cloud that we have created a host also now i'm going to create alias for the scene so we need to give a here www okay cloud network login okay after that we need to click on browse go to here forward and we need to uh, see the name of this So here you can see this is the site is accessing actually I don't have any web pages so this is was I was getting some of this error uh, if you have a, a HTML created pages means you can just upload it there and you can need to give a path after that it will be come here so I'm now I'm going I'm going to show you how to redirect your uh, website 
to other websites. So simply you need to just go to this ISS, you need to click a domain name which we have given name and here you can see HTTP redirect, right, right click go to open features and you can see check this box if you want to redirect to other website means just give this website name and it will be redirected here so you need to by clicking here and you need to click here to apply for this save changes okay after that you need to open a browser and type so it will be uh, redirect to your new domain name now i will show you about creating a virtual directory to create a virtual directory you need to open this uh, wait iss wait you need to open iss to add your ISS open and then you need to open ISS first after that expand this one domain name and then expand site right click on domain name go to, uh, to add virtual directory after that here you need to give a mail here in place of alias mail you need to give a path like uh, so you can give a path from the here this one okay you can test you can connect before testing you can test also settings click ok after that you need to just go for this here second configuration and like this has been created mail so here you can add a default document like clicking on here go to open the feature and then you can click uh, showing none of mail is there okay don't worry <coughs> after that you need to type uh, www.cloudnetwork.in slash mail so it will be having a mail configuration there now i am going to change in the website of ip address port number so if you want to change the ip address and the port number for this site uh, you need to click on this website mail that is your cloud network and you need to click on uh, bending where you can find see edit bending so here you can see edit again and you can change ip address and also port number here for this website name okay so this is the change and you can access in your browser by typing the domain name and give a port number you will be come or else you can type the ip address also you will come so this is the so this is the end of my video about this ISS configuration installation. Uh, if you have any problem, you can comment below to my video. Please subscribe to Article Thank you for watching my video.